All humans are creatures of habit. Even those of us who resist daily schedules may still benefit from weekly, monthly, quarterly, or yearly reviews where we reflect on what's going on in our lives. Reviews like these that are regularly done are essential to building actually usable systems that change as we change. Hi, I'm Nicole van der Hooven, and on this channel, I like to talk about the different things I use to min-max my life, including tools like Obsidian. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Periodic Notes plugin. Periodic Notes is a free and open source Obsidian community plugin that lets you choose notes that can recur at a certain frequency. The choices for that frequency are daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, or yearly. You can choose one or a combination of those. You don't have to choose them all. But for each one of those, you can also specify a template of the kinds of things that you might want to review on those frequencies. Maybe on a daily basis, the things that you want to review are more granular, like very specific tasks, but maybe on a monthly basis, you'd prefer to review like projects or something like that. Let's go and see how to install it. Just like with any community plugin, you can go here to community plugins and click browse as long as you've turned off the save mode. And then you can type periodic notes. Now I've already installed it here, but you will see an option to install it and then you have to enable it. Then afterwards, you'll see this options button as well. When you click on that, you'll see a bunch of different options. Now, one thing I want to call out is that if you're already using the Daily Notes plugin, that will be automatically migrated to Periodic Notes. And at that point, you can just disable Daily Notes and use Periodic Notes from then on because Periodic Notes is Daily Notes plus more. So here you can turn on any of these that you want. Here they are separated by the different frequencies um, all the way up to yearly. And for each of these, you have three different options. The formats, which I pretty much would just leave like this unless you're using like a non-traditional or custom format for your daily notes. And then you have the templates and the note folder. Now let's create the templates first. If I exit out of here, the vault that I'm using right now is like the sample one that's available to anybody who's on my Patreon, but you can just follow along with your own vault as well. First, let's start with the daily template. Now, what you want to put in these templates are things that you're going to want to appear in every daily note from now on. So this can really have anything that you want. As you can see, I'm using a different plugin here called Templator. If you don't have Templator, you could just do something like title if you'd like. Uh, I have a link here to yesterday's note. One thing I like doing in my daily note is I like to pull in the tasks for the week. So this isn't filled in yet, but when I create my weekly goals or weekly tasks or whatever, all of those will be embedded into my daily note, just so every day I get reminded of what are the things that I said I wanted to accomplish this week. And another cool thing is I have a dice roller here where it go just goes to everything that has the tag inbox. And this reminds me to go through the notes that I haven't yet processed. And it's just a bit of a cool way to randomly select a note. And if I don't want to process that, I can, you know, click the dice and then it, it re-rolls and it chooses something else. And then I have a daily review, things that I'm proud of, grateful for, or things that are on my mind that I need to get off of my mind before I, I close up for the day. Then there's an end of the day checklist. Now you don't have to put the, all of this in your daily template. This is just what I have in my template. And going a little bit faster here, here's my weekly template. I like to have an end of week checklist at this point with all of the things that I like to do to close off that week and make sure that there are no open loops that are remaining. I also like to embed the monthly initiatives here. This will always take the current month's objectives. And then this is a review of last week. And then um, this is where I say, what are the things that I want to get done in the week to come? As you might imagine, as we go from daily to yearly templates, the difference is in the granularity. So on a daily level, I'm talking about specific tasks. And by the time we get to the yearly templates, I'm then talking about like overarching principles or objectives for the entire year. 
So this is the monthly one, again, reviewing the, what happened in the last month and what I want to get done in the next month. Here's my quarterly one. Now we have the embed of my core principles and yearly OKRs, just to keep that front of mind. And here are the yearly ones. OKR stand for objectives, key results. And rather than just having an objective, having the insertion of key results means that every objective has like a quantifiable, smart way to measure whether or not you've succeeded in accomplishing that objective. So those are my templates, but I don't want my periodic notes to just appear in the root directory of my vault. So I have a separate folder here called reviews where I have folders for each of those to go into. Now let's go back to the settings here and I've already gone and filled it out, but you should then select the templates that you have here. For me, all of my templates are in the templates folder. So then you type the folder first and then you select which one it is. And then also put which folder you want those periodic notes to be in. So you can go through and change any of these, you'll see that for some of them, I put weekly review in front. I mean, it's really down to personal preference. And once you've decided on which one of these you want to enable, then we can actually go and use periodic notes. From Obsidian here, you can hit the command pane, that's command P or control P if you're on Windows, start typing periodic notes, and you'll see that for every section that you enabled, you'll have an option to open that note. Whichever one we select here will have the corresponding template automatically applied to it. So let's go with the weekly note, for example. And instead of that template here, it's filled in exactly what I want. This is the 27th week of this year. And then I can start checking off these things on the checklist. I can review the monthly initiatives, but I skipped the monthly one just for the demonstration. Then I can go to this week and let's say I want to finish video on periodic notes. And then on a daily basis, you can also hit command P and hit daily, open daily notes. And that also gets changed to today's exact date. And this is what I was saying before that it automatically embeds whatever the goals were for this week. So this week I can see I have finished video on periodic notes, so I can't take that off just yet. <laughs> One of the things I like about this is that it's pretty much automated and it gets created for me. I basically had to think of what I wanted in the template. And then after that, they just get applied automatically. And I also like how the objectives are traced from the daily level all the way up to the yearly level. I'm a person that likes to try very different things. And sometimes I go off in a different direction from the one that I set for myself. And I find it useful to have a reminder that says like, hey, this month you said that you actually wanted to do this. And that reminds me of my priorities. And sometimes I change those priorities, but at least then it's an intentional decision and not just me going off on a tangent. What I showed you is what's available in the public release of periodic notes, but I've actually been playing around with some pretty cool beta features. Let me show you that as well. The first thing is that when I open up a note, one of the periodic notes, there's this timeline here that I can click on and it shows me the rest of the week. So it's just a way to quickly flip back and forth between different days. The thing that I'm most excited about in this beta release is the addition of calendar sets. So right now there's only one set. There's like, you know, daily, weekly, monthly, etc for everything. So that doesn't work so well if you have a more compartmentalized approach to your life, like you have some objectives that are personal, maybe some for work or some for another business or some that are financial even. Now you can have different sets for those notes. So right now I have the default one, which I'm kind of using as like my personal one. And then you can have your work one, which I've got here as K6. Now in my case, I only wanted quarterly notes for work because all of our OKRs are based on a quarter. And so I don't really need to have a separate one for daily and weekly because I do have very work specific OKRs that are based on three month periods. And then for the daily, weekly, monthly ones, I just kind of lump them into my personal one. But the quarterly notes, those are nice to keep separate. 
As you can imagine, the Periodic Notes plugin is particularly good for creating goals and objectives in Obsidian. If you want to see how I set my goals for 2022 in Obsidian, check out this video. Atea Proxima, apparently I said that wrong last time, but thanks for watching.